What's up, party people? Uh, it's Jesse. Today, bringing you a little uh, comic uh, haul video. Uh, in here, I've got stuff from this month's pull. Uh, I'm a little bit behind on my reading list. And then I've got a couple other pickups that I got at Books A Million for a really good deal. So, to get started off, we got this sweet Doctor Strange poster. Annual number one. Picked it up at the comic shop. The other side, Max Ride number one, Final Flight. I never got into Max Ride. I know it's like a creator own thing that Marvel picked up. Uh, just not my thing. So, pretty cool. I always pick these up, little posters up when they have them as little freebie giveaways. So you can see here we got I Hate Fairyland number eight. I fully recommend this uh, book if you haven't read it before. It's pretty much amazing. The art in this one is different. Um, it's got a young. I don't think Scotty Young even did the art on this this issue. Guest artist, nope. Interesting. This is uh, his normal style and you can see, I'm sure there's a reason the art is different, but very good book, very violent and bloody and uh, very entertaining. One of my favorite series right now, so pick it up if you haven't read it. Um, next we got Amazing Spider-Man number 16. Um, a little bit behind on this book, but uh, overall been a very solid book for a while now. Um, looks like they're starting a new event, so that's cool. Darth Vader 24. Um, talk about an amazing series, like holy cow. This is uh, the best Star Wars series I've ever read, uh, which is saying something. Um, only has one more issue left, 25 is going to be the final issue for this one, so this issue I'm sure is leading up to the finale. Uh, so. Very excited to read that. We got Web Warriors number 10. Also a really cool book. Uh, I actually like this book better than the main Spider-Man series. There's always a lot going on, a lot at stake. I love the different Spider-Verses that they uh, explore and all the different Spider-Men and their unique uh, you know, sensibilities and stuff like that. Very cool, very underrated book. Uh, pick it up if you're a fan of Spider-Man. TMNT 61. This is... Uh, Definitely coming to a crescendo the storyline, so I'm um, excited to see where it's gonna go from here. We got Spider-Man number 17. Looks like we got Electro back. Pretty cool. Uh, again, need to read it. I'm a little behind. Got Rocket Raccoon and Groot 8 and 9. Um, loving this series. Although I will admit that it's not as good as the Scotty Young's Rocket Raccoon series. Um, but still good. Still very good. Uh, so we'll see. Looks like they're tying into Civil War, which Civil War II, I should say, which I'm not not planning on picking up any of them. So uh, I just got burnt out on the big big blockbuster events, so I'm taking a little while off. Han Solo number three, great miniseries. The Star Wars miniseries overall have been very very high quality. So uh, I'm excited to pick this up. It's about uh, Han Solo is basically in like a galactic race, like death race type thing. Uh, very cool. Also recommend the Princess Leia series if you haven't read it. Um, and then here is my pickups I found at Books A Million. So we got Ender's Game trade paperback. Um, the reason I picked this up is because it was $2. So, you know, I'll pick it up for $2. I'm a fan of Ender's Game, you know what I mean? It's not like my favorite thing in the world, but this is a nice high quality trade with pretty good artwork, you know. So, 2 bucks, I'll definitely pick it up. Same thing with this, Ender's Shadow. Uh, again, $2 on clearance. They're having a clearance event. I started reading this one, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, we got Astronauts in Trouble, number one. Pretty cool. I, have, I haven't read this series yet. I've been wanting to check it out uh, forever since I've seen it on the shelves at the local comic shop. And I found number one for a good deal. So I picked it up, I'm gonna read it and see what you think. If you read this series, let me know. I know uh, this guy is pretty well known, Charlie, Charlie Adlard, so I'm excited to see what he brings to the table. We got a variant cover of Runaways number one. Again, a dollar, books a million variant. Um, I haven't read Runaways and I really don't plan on uh, reading it really, just picked it up for the you know variant cover. Pretty cool. And then last we got what if Infinity Number One Guardians of the Galaxy? Um, I'm a huge Rocket Raccoon fan and Groot and Guardians too, but mostly Rocket and Groot. So when I saw this, I picked it up for a buck. Um, if you're not familiar with these What If books, 
they are like alternate timelines basically so it's like you know if Peter Parker never got bit by the spider then what would happen you know what I mean so we'll see this is gonna change the way that the infinity story played out so I'm excited to see it it's just a one shot you know this is not a ongoing series or anything so very cool um, check your books a million man or, or your Barnes and Noble stuff like that because they carry comics and I think a lot of people overlook those when they're looking for deals and my Barnes and or books a million had a clearance event going on had a ton of stuff on sale so uh, this is all super cheap like I got all these books for like six bucks which uh, is not bad for two trades and three issues so uh, yeah thanks for watching um, whenever I get more comics in a couple weeks or next week or whatever just depends on what I pick up each week I'll show you guys what's going on with it so thanks for watching bye